Hello there. In this topic, we're going to take a look at how to connect to HANA from IDT. Let's go ahead. So we can access the IDT from the business intelligence folder. So you go to all programs and you find SAP business intelligence. If you open it up, you will see SAP business objects, BI platform clients. You click on that and then you basically find information design tool. All right. So this is your entry point to the launch pad. So this is your entry point to IDT. So you have a couple of panels, very similar to business objects, data services. So you have local projects here, you have repositories here, and then you have a general canvas here and work area in the same place. Okay, so let's go ahead and create, let me close these projects. The first thing is, you need to create a project and then we will create a connection inside the project so let's go ahead and create a project first so very similar to data services so let's go ahead and say new and then we will say project All right so we will say ana copa unv and we will say finish so we have an empty project here now and if you see here on the repositories, this is the server, but I'm not logged into the server. We will do that just about now. First, let's go ahead and create a connection. So to create a connection, you say right click and you say you new, you say new, and then you say relational connection. Let's go ahead and create a relational connection. And it's gonna ask you. So I'm gonna say on a UNV. This is just a name, so you can give whatever you want. And when you say next, it's going to ask you to choose a driver. So these are all the drivers available. So you have Apache, Cloudera, Greenplum, HP, obviously you have Oracle, Sybase, Microsoft. So you'll find all your SQL here. And finally, we have SAP. And if you could drill down, you have SAP HANA database. You click on the JDBC drivers and you say next. Now this is where you need to do your authentication to the HANA database. So there are different types of authentication. So there is a business objects credential mapping where you can map a business objects user to a HANA user. You can use single sign on or you can go the plain vanilla username and password. So we're going to say username and password. So the username is system. Password is. All right. And I need to give the host name and then you need to give your instance number. So if you drag down, there is a functionality called test connection. So it's always good to do that. So test is successful. So we can say next. And these are the default settings. So let it be. Right now we are not optimizing and we're not going to those topics. So just say finish. When you say finish, this will show up the connection details and then you will have another object here called HANA UNV.CNX. So what happens is the CNX is a local connection right so you need to publish this to a repository so what it means is this you need to push this local connection sitting to a central repository where everybody can access this connection so by doing that what happens is you, you, you make it secure that's number one. Second is you make you make it accessible to all the other tools so that's the whole idea to be able to create one semantic layer and for all the tools to be able to access this semantic layer Okay, so if you come down here real quick, we will log into this server. So this is the server and all I have to do is give the password. I've already created the session. So if you open the server, you will have two folders, connections and universes. Currently, we are working on the connections. If you see, there are already a lot of connections and we're going to create another connection. So the way to publish a connection to the repository is very simple. You right click on it and you come about down right about here and then you say publish connection to a repository. So since we've already logged in, it's taken those credentials. Otherwise you will have to log in and then you say next. It's going to ask if you want to create a folder or if you want to just house your connection in the connections folder. Let's just do that. And let's say finish. So it says connection was published successfully. And then do you want to create a shortcut? 
and then you say yes i want to create a shortcut so then you have a cns connection so this is a secure connection and this is what you want to create a universe 